I'm Nicholas Storman, and I'm Chief Conservator at Seattle Art Museum. There's a lot of puzzles in the collection and a lot of things that we need to figure out in order to take care of things properly, to present them properly, and make sure that they survive for the future. We study them, we have our microscopes, and uh, we have different ways of illuminating the object, and that can give us clues as to what's gone on in the past. This is a piece that we're studying because it's being requested for an exhibition um, up in British Columbia at the Museum of Anthropology. This is a piece which is actually, uh, we think, comprised of two separate objects. So we think that the, the kind of framing painted part there with the, with the birds and the whale on it uh, is actually from a different time to the mask in the center. And uh, the university museum up there has the, has the mask which probably once belonged in the center. So, uh, before it goes up there in January, what we want to do is study this to the best of our ability, and then when it comes back, maybe we can, uh, you know, work on a collaborative research project with them where the two pieces can be, can be brought together for, for closer study. We can see beneath the paint layers with the, with the infrared, and it's not, <laughs> it's not the clearest example here, but we can see a, a kind of shadow of a form around this crest on the, on the bird here. And uh, what we're looking for is really changes in the paint technique between uh, what you see on the surface and what happened underneath. And uh, that enables us maybe to understand a bit more about the artist's technique and see if we can look for characteristic signs in there. We're dealing with works of art that may be thousands of years old, and so things happen over time to those objects. And sometimes there were really good restorers in the past, but they've done something that needs to be addressed now. And uh, so we have to figure out exactly what the conditions are and exactly what's happened to the object in the past. This is Venus in Adonis, and it's a painting from the workshop of Paolo Veronese. So Venetian painting from the late 16th century. And it's our big project for uh, these this two-year period. We're, we're actually halfway through the treatment at the moment, uh, and it's, it's been a year working with our uh, fellow to clean all of the old restoration and overpaint and discolored varnish and old materials off the surface. And so now we've finished cleaning, and we're about to start on the in-painting and retouching, which will take much of the next year to touch back all of these tiny little losses and damages so that it's not disturbing when it goes on display at the end of next year. We will be able to reveal an extra dog, which was formerly pretty well hidden. Um, hiding behind this dog here is a second dog whose face was almost completely obscured by the, by the old varnish. And you see the little eye peeping out there and the nose. And details like that, when you get a varnish that's really old and gray and discolored, it, uh, it just covers those over. So when we finish the treatment, details like that will be much more clear for the uh, visitors to see. You know, these pieces here are the kind of nuts and bolts of what we do every day. And, and uh, these are pieces that my colleague Liz is working on at the moment. <coughs> and they range from this uh, little seated Buddha figure, which is 14th to 15th century maybe, a uh, little bronze figure, to this one, which is a, a Tibetan statue. And uh, here we have some, uh, a, a piece that was actually, a, they're an archaeological find, this, this type, of, uh, type of piece, which is uh, taken from a shipwreck. And the coral actually grew on the shipwrecked materials, which were, which were found in the, the Chinese um, ceramics that were discovered in the South China Sea. And uh, they were actually a donation to the museum from the Fish and Wildlife Service because they'd been confiscated at some stage. And so what Liz is actually doing here is she's repairing the, when we were given this piece, it, it came with the broken fragments of the coral. And she's actually repairing it so that the, the coral is now um, you know, back on the back on the piece and back on display. These works of art have uh, lived in collections, in temples, in houses uh, for centuries, and 
part of our training is to understand what to do when things happen to objects. So, uh, so we take it all very calmly and figure out what the situation is and how best to deal with it.